the gospel. The righteousness of God is revealed. A righteousness that is by faith from first to last just as it is written. The righteous will live by faith. He saved us not because of righteous things we had done but because of his mercy he saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit and this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also not the removal of dirt from the body but the pledge of a clear conscience toward God it saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ whoever believes in the Son has eternal life but whoever rejects the Son will not see life for God's wrath remains on them for he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of sins for whoever wants to save their life will lose it but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news who proclaim peace who bring good tidings who proclaim salvation who say to Zion your God reigns for this is what the high and exalted one says he who lives forever whose name is holy I live in a high and holy place but also with the one who is contrite and lowly in spirit to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite not everyone who says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my father who is in heaven but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light you dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world but I with shouts of grateful praise will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will make good I will say salvation comes from the Lord <laughs>